Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Today, we're diving into the world of Flipper Zero, the ultimate multi-tool for hackers and geeks alike. This little device has taken the internet by storm and for good reason. It's packed with features that let you explore and tinker with all sorts of wireless protocols from RFID to infrared and beyond. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is this thing legal? And the answer is yes. But it's a powerful tool, and like any tool, it can be used for good or, well, not so good. So before we get into this, remember, don't be a jerk. Use your powers responsibly. Stick around as we uncover 10 Flipper Zero hacks you probably didn't know about. This is for educational purposes only. Don't try this on someone else's car. Modern cars use rolling codes for key fobs. Each press sends a unique code. The Flipper Zero can capture these codes. Put it in receive mode, press the unlock button. It records and analyzes the signal. Then transmit the signal to unlock the car. It's like a digital skeleton key. Newer cars have sophisticated security systems, but it's a cool demonstration of Flipper Zero. Remember, responsible hacking only. Next up, we're talking about RFID cloning. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification, and it's used in a ton of stuff these days from access cards to payment systems. The Flipper Zero can read and emulate these RFID tags, which means you can essentially clone them. Now I know what you're thinking, is this legal? And the answer is, it depends. Cloning RFID cards for malicious purposes is definitely not cool but there are legitimate reasons to do it, like backing up your own access cards or experimenting with RFID technology for educational purposes. To clone an RFID card, you simply hold it near the Flipper Zero's RFID reader and tell it to read the card's data. The Flipper Zero will then store that information and you can write it onto a blank RFID card or sticker. Just like with the car hacking, use this knowledge responsibly. Don't go cloning your neighbor's access card or anything like that. All right, let's move on to NFC, or Near Field Communication. NFC is similar to RFID but operates at a higher frequency and is commonly used for things like contactless payments and data transfer. Guess what? The Flipper Zero can emulate NFC tags too. This opens up a whole world of possibilities from triggering actions on your smartphone to automating tasks around your home. For example, you could program an NFC tag to turn on your lights, connect to your Wi-Fi or even launch a specific app on your phone. And with the Flipper Zero, you can emulate all these actions without needing physical tags for each one. You can even use the Flipper Zero to read the data on your credit card, though not the actual credit card number, don't worry. This can be useful for understanding how NFC payments work and for testing the security of your own cards. Just remember folks, NFC emulation is a powerful tool, so use it responsibly and ethically. Okay, let's talk about something a little more controversial, signal jamming. Now before you get any ideas, I want to be very clear. Signal jamming can be illegal in many countries, so make sure you understand the laws in your area before you even think about trying this. Signal jamming basically means disrupting wireless communication by flooding the airwaves with interference. The Flipper Zero can generate a variety of radio signals which means it can be used for jamming purposes. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to build a signal jammer or anything like that, but it's important to understand how this technology works and the potential implications it has. For example, signal jamming can be used to disable security systems, disrupt communication networks, or even interfere with medical devices. So, yeah, not something to mess around with lightly. Remember folks, with great power comes great responsibility. Use your Flipper Zero wisely and ethically. Let's lighten the mood a bit and talk about something a little more fun using the Flipper Zero as a universal TV remote. That's right, this little gadget can control your TV, and it's surprisingly easy to set up. Most TV remotes use infrared signals to communicate with the TV. The Flipper Zero has a built-in infrared transmitter and receiver which means it can learn and transmit those same signals. To teach the Flipper Zero your TV remote codes, you simply put it into learning mode, point your TV remote at it, and press the button you want to program. The Flipper Zero will record the infrared signal and store it for later use. Once you've programmed a few buttons, you can use the Flipper Zero to control your TV just like you would with a regular remote. You can change channels, adjust the volume, and even access the TV's menu system. It's a fun and practical way to use your Flipper Zero, and it might even impress your friends, or at least confuse them. 
Let's talk about hacking your own garage door with the Flipper Zero. Many garage door openers use fixed codes. The Flipper Zero can capture and replay these codes, giving you a digital skeleton key. Put it in receive mode and trigger your opener. The Flipper Zero records and analyzes the signal, then transmit it back to open or close the door. Newer openers use rolling codes, which are more secure. Use this knowledge responsibly and only on your own property. Chapter 7. Bluetooth Bonanza. Exploring the world of Bluetooth hacking. Let's dive into the world of Bluetooth hacking with the Flipper Zero. Bluetooth is everywhere these days, from headphones and speakers to smartwatches and fitness trackers. And yes, the Flipper Zero can interact with Bluetooth devices in some pretty interesting ways. Now, I'm not talking about hacking into your neighbor's Bluetooth speaker and blasting Rick Astley, though I'm not saying you can't. But the Flipper Zero can be used to explore Bluetooth vulnerabilities, test the security of your own devices, and even perform some fun pranks. For example, you can use the Flipper Zero to send spoofed Bluetooth beacon signals, which can trick nearby devices into thinking you're somewhere you're not. You can also use it to scan for Bluetooth devices and gather information about them, like their device name, MAC address, and signal strength. While the Flipper Zero isn't a full-fledged Bluetooth hacking tool, it's still a powerful device that can give you a glimpse into the world of Bluetooth security. Just remember to use your powers responsibly and ethically. All right, let's talk about Wi-Fi deauthentication attacks, also known as Duth attacks. Now, before you get any ideas, I want to be very clear performing Duth attacks on unsuspecting victims is not cool. It's basically a denial of service attack that can disrupt someone's internet connection. However, understanding how Duth attacks work is important for anyone interested in Wi-Fi security. The Flipper Zero can actually perform these attacks, which highlights the potential vulnerabilities of Wi-Fi networks. Here's how it works. The Flipper Zero sends out a de-authentication frame to a specific device on a Wi-Fi network. This frame tricks the device into thinking it's been disconnected from the network, forcing it to reconnect. While this might seem harmless, it can be used to disrupt video calls, online gaming sessions, or even sensitive work being done over Wi-Fi. So yeah, not something to mess around with. Remember folks, knowledge is power. Use your Flipper Zero to learn about Wi-Fi security, but don't use it for malicious purposes. Remember those universal remotes we talked about earlier? Well, the Flipper Zero's infrared capabilities go way beyond just controlling your TV. We're talking about controlling your entire world with infrared. Okay, maybe not your entire world, but you can use the Flipper Zero to control a surprising number of devices that use infrared for communication. This includes things like air conditioners, projectors, sound systems, and even some toys. The Flipper Zero has a massive database of infrared codes for various devices, and you can even teach it new codes if you need to. This means you can essentially turn your Flipper Zero into a universal remote for almost anything in your house. Want to prank your roommate by turning their AC down to freezing? Or maybe you want to impress your friends by controlling the lights with your Flipper Zero. The possibilities are endless. Just remember folks, with great power comes great responsibility. Use your infrared powers for good, not evil. All right, let's wrap things up with something a little more technical sub GHE's frequency analysis. Now this one's for all you radio nerds out there. The Flipper Zero can actually analyze radio signals in the sub GHZ frequency range, which is used for a variety of applications from garage door openers to wireless security systems. The Flipper Zero has a built-in spectrum analyzer that lets you visualize the different frequencies being used in your environment. You can use this to identify unknown signals, analyze the strength of different frequencies, and even troubleshoot wireless interference issues. Now this is definitely a more advanced feature that requires some understanding of radio frequencies and signal analysis. But if you're willing to put in the time, the Flipper Zero can be a powerful tool for exploring the invisible world of radio waves. Who knows, you might even discover some hidden signals or uncover a secret government spy network. Okay, maybe not, but you never know what you might find when you start digging into the world of radio frequencies. And there you have it, folks. 10 incredible hacks you can perform with your Flipper Zero. From unlocking cars and cloning RFID cards to controlling your TV and analyzing radio frequencies, this little device is a hacker's dream come true. But remember folks, with great power comes great responsibility. Use your Flipper Zero ethically and responsibly. Don't be that person who uses their knowledge for malicious purposes. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech tips and tricks. See you next time.